Hmm. It ain't working. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it, right? No. All right. <clears throat> All right. I'm Arius Bookman, as always. And um, today I want to talk about um, the idea that God is dead. It comes from Nietzsche. Philosophical shit. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 All right. I don't necessarily want to talk about the phrase God is dead. I want to talk about the implications of it. Um, something else that was said um, is that we've untethered ourselves from the heavens. That, I think, is more pertinent. The idea that God is dead, same difference, but this this has more, this this is the direction I want to take it, is that we've untethered ourselves from the heavens. The large issue to pe- that, let me start this way. Because that's what, it, it, I'm going to explain exactly what this means. Um, people today are leaving their old cultures and religions, okay? They're leaving their old conceptions of how reality works. And you don't just like that's that's not a a simple feat to undertake. It's not as simple as saying Jesus isn't real and then, you know, going and becoming an Orisha worshiping person. Like it, it's it's not as simple as that. I I, I like to frame it in this way. There, there are questions that people are looking to have answered that they don't know they need to have answered. Um, but there also, there's also a reason that people are having the predicament. So there, there's, there, there are the questions that people are trying to answer, and there's the reason that they're having the predicament. Um, intimately connected, but two separate things. The questions people are trying to answer. Okay, this is what this is. This is the purpose of religion. Okay. It wasn't to control people. It was to give you, it was to tether you to the heavens, to, to, to fit you into reality. And you, you know, you have people who will argue that what reality is, 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 is atoms and particles. Those are abstractions to, to, to describe their behavior, but that's not telling you what they are. Western science doesn't tell you what things are. They tell you how they behave. I've gone through the questions. The, que- the, the questions are, um, what is reality at large? What is the self? And what is the continuity between the two? Those are the questions. The reasons you're having the issue is because you don't know the nature of your predicament or how you're continuing to agree to it. The, the, like, I have to be able to make it more salient than that. Because that's concise. The, the, the focal issue is that you've untethered yourself from the heavens. The way that you frame reality does not leave a place for what you are to exist. That's why people will just say some stupid shit like I'm everything. Like if, if you everything, how you astral travel? And the, every, everything don't astral travel. It's already everything. What the fuck you talking about? You know, try and reduce things like m- motherfuckers don't even know what spirituality is. And I think that's how I have to make this salient. What the fuck is spirituality? Okay, because look, look, activating your DNA, even if you can do it, isn't spiritual. Making sure you radiate your melanin appropriately as you eat your sea moss, even if that's a thing that, that has effects, it isn't spiritual. Aliens coming to reveal to us that that you know the planet's actually flat, even if it's true, which it isn't. Even if it's true, it isn't spiritual. The elites doing a ritual to do such and such and such and such, even if it's true, it's not spiritual. But you, but you said the word ritual, bro. You brush your teeth every morning. That's a ritual fuck out of here none of that shit is spiritual 
I mean, they tell you to go within and motherfuckers end up in cells and melanin and at the same time saying I'm not the body. That's, that, it, you're, you're contradicting yourself. I had one motherfucker reply to me saying, well, I'm a living contradiction. Like, nigga, what does that even mean? What does it mean to be a living contradiction? Is that, a, is that an admission of being dead? But then what does life and death even mean? If they're like, niggas are just saying things to try and piecemeal together their idea of what they want reality to be. This is nihilism is rampant, man. This is the result of untethering yourself from the heavens. Because look, if, if nothing out there means anything, what means something? If nothing out there means something, then what means something? Something's got what what means something? You. That's the only thing that can mean something. It's nihilism. When you strip the meaning out of everything that you everywhere you have placed it in reality. The only place you have left is yourself. You're going to strip the meaning of yourself. What happens then? I'm everything. I'm nothing. And it's not saying anything because there's nothing that isn't everything. And everything is nothing. It's not, like, it's not saying anything. It's, 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 it's not inaccurate, but it's circular reasoning. It's not going anywhere. Those are fundamental principles. Those aren't, those aren't explanations for what yourself is. Right, I'm a living ritual. The, yeah, the idea of don't you wake up and, and and playing out your personality every day is a ritual. Like motherfuckers say the word ritual and niggas just go oh, spooky, spooky. Shut the fuck up. And so, since I have to remember, people aren't interested in what I'm interested in. What I'm interested in is those questions and those reasonings. People aren't interested in what I'm interested in. They're interested in. They're interested in 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 the idea of, of of living a more comfortable life, and it's not there's not a that's not a negative aspiration. It's not a, I'm not saying I'm not saying that say ha ha you're doing the wrong thing, but like, and this is why I say niggas don't know what spirituality is because everywhere they're trying to go, they're trying to do something to 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 reaffirm their physical life in a way to make it better somehow. Like, you don't do that here. That's like saying you're going to level up your Mario game while laying in the bed. You ain't even got the controller in your hand. Boy, you got to go to the game to level up the game. Fuck you talking about? But see, motherfuckers don't get any continuity. They've been untethered from the heavens. And when I say heavens, it's not Christian. You've been untethered from the divine. If heaven, if the word heaven triggers you, you've untethered yourself from the divine. How? Because, because you don't have any continuity between yourself and anything else. Everything, everything that you conceive is some type of a physical narrative. Not perceive, conceive. You perceive plenty beyond the physical narrative, but you don't acknowledge it. It, it the, see, the issue is the Western ontology. The ontology, ontology is, is it determines what is. It's, the, it's, it's a branch of philosophy. Um, it's, it's the study of the idea of what is. Okay, ontology and epistemology go hand in hand. Ontology tells you what is. Epistemology tells you how you know and how you can know. Basically, basically, uh, ontology gives you the the, the objects. Uh, epistemology gives you the the dynamics between the objects you know creating subject and you need both of those to have a metaphysics of reality but most people don't have that they just say words that are popular to say spirit soul you know whatever you want to call it you know you know it, it, they're not examining the argument they're making so I mean, what 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 is spirituality? Spirituality is point blank. It's it's dealing with things that are non-physical. Okay, what does it mean for something to be non-physical? Justice is non-physical. You can't you can't invite justice to the barbecue. Society is non-physical. You cannot invite society to the barbecue. You can invoke it all you like to, but it's not something that it, it's not something that objectively exists in space time. Okay. Spiritual. If, if we're talking about things that, that exist in a non-physical capacity, we're talking about spiritual. Okay. So activating your melanin ain't spiritual, even if that's the thing you could do. It's not spiritual. Waking up your kundalini oil in your ass crack ain't special. It's not a thing. If it, even if it is a thing, bro, it's not spiritual. You see, because motherfuckers don't have a gauge, like, that's, 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 that's what I'm saying. When you're untethered from the heavens, when you're untethered from the divine, you can't even conceive it. 
You can't even begin to conceive it. All you can do is redefine yourself based on your based on your flawed perceptions. It's nihilism, man. Nothing out there matters. It's a lie. I'll be damned. You, you can sit there and say, well, really, ultimately, nothing matters. But well, ultimately, the only thing, only thing there is is nothing. So you're not really saying anything. Nothing matters in nothing. Wow, big whoop. I was always talking about ultimately, nigga. Fuck the end of the day. Fuck the end of the day. You at high noon. This is what Nietzsche meant when he said God is dead. We've untethered ourselves from the heavens. We've untethered ourselves from the divine. We conceive and conceptualize ourselves in a framework that separates us from the divine in, inherently. The result is, 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 is this widespread nihilism where nobody knows what anything means. In fact, any, things only mean whatever you think they mean when you agreed that they mean that. Unless, of course, you'd like to enforce your idea upon somebody else or have somebody, you know, reciprocate with you in any sort of fashion. Because, look, I'm sitting here using language. I'm sitting here using words. We've had to we had to have agreed on something prior to having this conversation. So it's not about sit down at the table. Hey, we're going to agree to do this. No, like that this things exist, right? Like meaning exists. But see, motherfuckers can't reconcile themselves and the divine. So they have to strip the meaning out of everything because they're trying to find meaning in the thing. And it's, it's you. But what is you, bro? Like, just say motherfuckers are going to go back to the body and personality. And that's not even it. That's not even close. Hmm. Does, nihilism, does nihilism consider part of the non-physical? Does that add it to the category of spiritualism? Well, it, it I, I'll give you this. Nihilism can get you to a place where you're ready to open the door to some shit. Um, because you, you, because like like what people talk about with attachment and how attachment causes pain. You know the 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 um, the the Buddhist right hand path kind of thing, um, where they they reject attachment. That'll that'll get you there. That'll get you there. You start down that path, you you'll you'll hit a stop on that path is nihilism but most people will end the end at nihilism because they were looking for the meaning to be in something that they were searching for and it's not you're a thing that makes meaning you're a thing that can act outside of its character when people say I'm, you're a god they just they just mean that shit to feel good they didn't think about the shit but it, uh, would it be a category of spiritualism no, it, 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 I don't, I don't think nihilism has the space to do anything outside of itself other than itself and not even itself, like in an essential kind of way, but it's, it, it, it's, it's, um, there's a way I can say this. Uh, Unless it makes everything itself, it can't comprehend anything. And not everything itself in a way that, that that's that's conducive to other other things that they say they believe. Just that it has to be their fundamental explanation. Otherwise, they can't justify, you know, continuing their own perpetual existence. You know, they have to start stripping the meaning out of themselves. And nobody wants to do that. It's what you need to do if you're really talking about stripping meaning out of shit. But you don't need to do that. You need to figure out how it is you've been putting meaning into things. It's not about trying to you know, stop yourself from doing what you've already been doing. Like the thing is, you say it all the time. Everything is one thing. It's, it's all the same thing. There's not some special thing you got to go do. It's about you noticing what you're already doing. You realizing. And part of that is, is noticing what the fuck you is. We've untethered ourselves from the divine. Religion told you what reality at large was. It gave you an ultimate framework. It gave you a personal framework. It told you what yourself is. And it gave you the continuity between the two. It put you into a narrative. (sighs) 
And it's not to say you don't have a narrative now, you do. But that narrative is, is untethered from the divine. That's the issue. The narrative that, you, that the idea of what you is exists in is untethered from the divine. It's an issue of structure. Nihilism is a Taurus shape. Hmm. Live the self centeredness. And see, when I think about that, I I struggle I struggle to separate it from narcissism. Because because I have to look at it outside of narcissism because they're, they're two different things. And maybe they're very intimately related. Um nihilism. I don't know. Why do you say it's a Taurus? Maybe there's a way I'm not looking at it. Why do you say it's a Taurus? Because, I mean, look, look, that's an interesting point there. Because motherfuckers don't live the physical life lucid. Like, you think about words and, and the spirituality behind words. You think it has to do with sound vibration and harmonics and resonating in the physical world. Like, fuck that shit. That's not it. Like, those things happen. But those things happen because because of what music is like okay let's say you have uh, silence relative silence god rather because you're not gonna have absolute silence uh here anyways um you have silence and then you play an e on the, on, on on a musical instrument you play an e what what that mean what what's happening when you play e okay is is the the vibration that that's moving through the air particles the the uh, what's the word What's the word? Uh, I don't want to say the sign. Not the sign of the wave. There's another. There's another way to say this. Um, the harmonic. I think. I think it's the harmonic. I think it's the harmonic of the, of the frequency. Anyways, what's what's generating the sound of E isn't in the air particles. It moves through the air particles. That's what you tra- you translate the thing that moves through the air particles, but it isn't in the air particles. It's in the silence. It was already there. Music is like that. Geometry. Um, you got points, lines, triangles, etc. None of that shit is the the points and the lines. It's the empty space that's changing. Just like with music, it was the silence. There's a structure already there. Uh, with number, numbers are usually set into a repeating pattern. Um, haven't always been that way. Numbers usually set in a repeating pattern. That pattern, as that pattern expresses itself, there are patterns that unfold, but those patterns unfold in patterns. Bruh, it ain't got nothing to do with the numbers themselves. I don't care if you count from 1 to 5 or 1 to 27 and then do it again. As long as the pattern's repeating. Zodiac ain't got shit to do with the stars and the, and the sun. Like, look, you can make an argument for that, but that's not a spiritual argument. The Zodiac has to do with the circle. The fact that we move in a circle. Technically an elliptical pattern, but... You know, whatever. Like, motherfuckers are missing the forest for the trees. But that's what'll happen with nihilism, because the only thing that can really have any meaning is yourself. But then the issue becomes, what do you define yourself as? And it's not just, what do you say? You know, you tell me, tell me I'm a titan. Tell me I'm a primordial god who, who who has melanin madness or some some other stuff. Make some propositional statement. Okay, wonderful. The statement's been made. How, how does that make it true? Now you got to question what true is, what it means for something to be true. See, motherfuckers ain't living physical life losers. You're not looking at your thinking. And a motherfucker suggest the, 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 uh, the, what's the word? The, um, not absolution. Um, the abolishment. There we go. The abolishment of pain. And I'm like, what? Stop. You asking to get rid of pleasure. Fuck you talking about. And if you don't see the pleasure, how pain and pleasure are defining each other, you don't know what you're looking at. Look, motherfucker don't know what they're looking at they don't see nothing I see it as a way that feeds itself and implodes on itself at the same time a never ending hell okay yeah no the the, the, uh, the fourth dimensional motion of the Taurus okay I get you now I get you yeah it, and, and look see this is why I say you know it's not wrong 
the, 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 the statement that, that reality has no intrinsic meaning to it is not wrong. But the statement itself has meaning. <laughs> like, fuck. The statement itself has meaning. It has something that it implies. Because what people because they look, just because you hit nihilism doesn't mean that people have to do, to to react to it the way they consistently do. Which is the thing, well now, now nothing has any meaning and everything is meaningless. No. The fact that nothing has any intrinsic meaning does not mean that everything is meaningless. <sighs> Niggas talk metaphysics. Fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here. That's what I'm saying. Niggas are like sitting here and, and talk about the shape of the, the, the flat earth. And I'm at this time, I'm talking metaphysics. So your Kundalini chakra oil, metaphysics. No, it's not. Niggas don't even get what chakras are. They miss the whole thing, bro. Put this shit in your body. Miss the whole thing. Miss the whole concept. Decided to tr- look. Missed the whole concept, bro. If what you are, once again, I'm everything. If what you are is the whole damn thing, then your root chakra is all of the physical realm. See, but you got to be able to comprehend the physical realm some. See, motherfuckers run away from trying to comprehend the physical realm and just jump into, oh, I'm spiritual, nigga. How you going to tell me you jumped in the spirit? You can't tell me where one end and the other begin. Fuck you talking about? If this one's infinite and that one's infinite, how that work? I'm not saying it can't work, but how does it work? If you don't know, what the fuck are you talking about? It's, it's ad hoc shit. Ad hoc is like um, where you have a point and instead of refining the point, you, you continuously add other things to it to try and defend its integrity as opposed to actually challenging the integrity of it. Yeah, man, I gotta, I gotta attack some basic, basic, fundamental stuff, bro. Like, nigga, what the fuck is spiritual? What the fuck is any of this spiritual shit doing, bro? Like, like, motherfucker, motherfucker got his feelings hurt talking about he about to become a villain now. What stop? You ain't ready for this life. Fuck you, mean. Fuck you, mean. You think a villains are just hideous for no reason? Your shit gotta consume what you thought you were fuck out of here man all the sith that's why i ain't like the 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 little thing they did with the little disney sith man fuck them shits man to be a sith you have to get maimed in some in some form or fashion it's part of the path talking about villain let's stop niggas ain't ready to be no villain your feelings was hurt that's all it is go back to love and light real real shit most y'all niggas gotta go back to jesus bro you're doing the same shit you just put put different clothes on jesus my higher and lower self boy that's god and devil because this is why it's God and the devil. This is why higher and lower self is essentially God and the devil. Because what is yourself through all of that? Same shit it was when you was a Christian. So what difference does it make? You just put a different name on the shit. Because it's self-knowledge. I'm going to just say higher and lower self. That didn't make self clearer. That made it more complicated. Fuck out of here, niggas. Niggas is stuck in Cartesian dualism. Stuck in seeing this universe A, universe B bullshit, bro. That's not how this works. Fuck out of here. There's only no talking about universe. What you mean by universe? There's no that you're gonna poison spirituality with the with the with with the um the flaws of Western ontology, with the flaws of of of, of the Western mindset to frame itself in in cohesion with the divine all right the tendency for the western mind is to untether itself from the divine and then attempt to <laughs> then attempt to examine the divine from that perspective like where the fuck you think you at now are you where you gonna go bro <laughs> nah but it's thinking about your thinking man god is dead that's what that means. We've untethered ourselves from the divine. <sighs> you got to know that you got you have to know the nature of your predicament. You have to know what what your predicament is. You ask some motherfuckers, they'll, they'll say some shit like, you know, 
we gotta we gotta up you know we gotta get ready for the the solar flare upgrade you know because once the solar flare upgrade come your power is gonna tap in but unless you had your spirulina it ain't gonna work right mm, that ain't spiritual like even if that was to really be a thing it's not spiritual I mean, niggas will throw the, the, the word occult on anything that, that's not Christian. Like you basically doing what the Catholic Church did. You you literally doing what the Catholic Church did. The devil's in the details, kid. The devil's in the details. I'm not just saying what everybody else is saying, putting your chest out. You know, hey, soul family, we here, we gonna get together. It's all good. You the whole thing, you everything, you a god, bruh. Have a good day working at Kroger. Fuck you mean? What stop? What stop? Miss the whole, miss the whole concept. God is dead. You have untethered yourself from the divine. So it's the nature of your agreement and how you're agreeing to it. Because you don't, you don't only have to know what it is the agreement is. You have to figure out how. Okay, well, how am I attached to it? Because you, because look, motherfuckers will just say, "Well, uh, I don't believe in Jesus no more. I don't, I don't, I don't believe in Christianity." Okay, cool. That, that, that's what you said. You, you told me that about the agreement. <clears throat> how are you still agreeing to it? Summon a demon. Oh no, man, I'm scared of that, man. Chill out, bro. You can't summon no demons. What, 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 what if what, what, what happens? Chill out, bro. Nah, it's a two-step process. It's a two-step process to lead you in the third position. You've, you've got to look at the nature of the predicament. The nature of the, the, the core of the predicament is what is you. You can sit here and you can tell me, I astral traveled with Oshun and we saw Sachet and then we went and seen Ti Tiamat and we went out for fried chicken. Okay, cool. Great astral thing. I'm not going to tell you you're wrong. I'm not going to tell you you didn't, you didn't see your crystal city. I'm not going to tell you you didn't see a, a realm made of music. I'm not going to tell you you didn't do it. But what is you when you did it? What is you? Let me guess. Spooky, spiritualized version of your personality. I'm, every, I'm, I'm ultimate God, everything. Like nigga, The thing you describe and don't do what you're saying you did. Everything don't astral travel. Everything don't dream everything don't channel so you you obviously not that and you already you already said you're not your body you're not the personality you're not all you, you more than that so what the fuck are you what is you that's the that's the shit don't tell me what you said you did nigga what is you what the fuck was you self-knowledge well my higher self and my lower self and what shut the fuck up what is yourself what is yourself? How are you going to tell me about a higher and lower self? You ain't figured out self yet. Well, myself is who I say I am. Well, who do you say you are? You don't even listen to yourself. You're too busy telling niggas something. Too busy ready, ready to tell a nigga something. Fuck out of here, bro. Niggas got niggas to gotta shut up like 95% of the time for a while. You, you'd be surprised, bro. You'd be surprised. Shut up for a while. Literally have nothing to say. therapeutic <laughs> all right yeah the topic excuse me god is dead thank you lovely wife thank you mm -hmm. the topic god is dead the issue the the implications of god is dead you have untethered yourself from the divine and you could be like look if the elites didn't do the da 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 then I wouldn't be like da 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 Okay, cool. That could be right. True. That could be true. That could be real real shit. I'm not even going to deny you that, bro. The, if the elites didn't do what they did this, then you wouldn't be like this. Okay, cool. But peep this, though. If you hadn't agreed to it, fuck what they was doing. See, that's where your power was. You, you agreeing to the shit. So you can't even be mad that they did what they did. They can do whatever the fuck they want to do, just like you. And everything you could have done, you agreed to that bullshit. So really, it ain't even them that's fucking up. Because <sighs> what you is, is right there. It don't go nowhere. Ain't nowhere for it to go. <sighs> Next time I go within, end up in melanin. Boy, y'all niggas is dumb. If the fire element had a human personality, and you ask, let's say, what is you? And it replies hot. 
<laughs> was that response being accurate? No, <laughs> I doubt it would. <laughs> you get what you ask for. Um, it's, it's it's somewhat of a vague question. Like like uh, you ever seen one of them things where somebody finds a genie, right? And the genie's like, okay, you can get your wishes. And a motherfucker just wishes for some vague shit, and they get what they ask for. Like I want to be, I want to be a motherfucker who everybody wants to come see. I'm iconic all over the world. Motherfuckers love me. Like okay, cool. I'm gonna turn you into a statue in a museum. You get what you ask for. So it wasn't inaccurate, but it probably wasn't what you were asking for. Man, this world is perfect, bro. I'm telling you. The only thing that's fucked up is you. But that's the work, right? <clears throat> mm -mm. Yeah, fire's hot. Fire's hot. <laughs> but what, what fire is essentially is the other three elements. When you're talking about the four elements, the fourfold pattern, they all exist within each other. They, they, they define one another. They define one another in their own, in, in, in their own um, structure. <clears throat> mm. See, man, that's archetypal shit. That's 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 spiritual shit. It's not physical shit. It it can express itself physically, but what you're talking about isn't something that you could ever invite to the barbecue. You couldn't touch it. You know, you couldn't put it in a jar. You couldn't cut it and make little atom experiments about it. Are there many cells or maybe the self has parts? I don't think those, I don't think many cells in the cells having parts are different things. Well, no, 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 I see the difference between the two. Um, I would say it's both of them. I would say it's both of them. Cause look, well, I, I, I'll go from the physical body. Just you can, you can see you're already doing it with the physical body. Uh, every seven years actually it's different for different organs and, and systems in the body i think seven years is like one of the longer stints but by every seven years most all the cells in any particular organ system have completely changed they're not the same cells they were seven years ago um <clears throat> so your, your body does that um but in terms of what yourself is let's just go from the level of the personality um if you're Brandon, okay, there's Brandon when he's happy, Brandon when he's sad, Brandon when he's angry, Brandon when he's hungry, Brandon when he's horny, Brandon when he was three, Brandon when he was six, Brandon when he's going to be 65. And that's just Brandon. The Brandon when he's 65 has has parts of, of what make him that Brandon that go all the way back to the Brandon when he was three. The Brandon when he was five is interconnected with the Brandon who's angry. Um, so you, you, I mean, you could consider those parts. I would say, I would say the idea of having parts and having multiple selves probably exists like at a 90 degree angle of each other. So the, you know, they're, they are, um, they, the ideas intersect, but yeah, the, like the self isn't a singular thing. Like it has the appearance of being singular. You can treat it like it's singular, just like you can do with your body. Your body has the appearance of being a singular thing. You can treat it like a singular thing. You live your life like it's a singular thing for the most part until maybe something hurts, you know? Oh, now my my my, my, my arm is its own thing because my arm hurts. You know, before it was just, I think I'm, I'm about to shoot the J. <laughs> it's not me and my arm are shooting the J. It's I'm about to shoot the J. Your arm ain't really a thing until it hurts. But it was always what it is. Or I mean, to what degree is your arm not the rest of the body? And it's not, I'm not make. I'm not asking a question to make a statement. Because there are biological aspects, you could say. But there are also the, the psychological aspects, the way you frame your own idea of yourself. Like I say, you don't usually think I'm shooting the J with my arm, but you're shooting the J with your arm just the same way as my arm hurts. It's a thing in, in, in that same way. See, man, what? Something like this is what I'm saying. This is why you got to get into the philosophy. This is why you got to think about your thinking. You know, it's not some new propositional statement you have to make or some new discovery in Western science's descriptivism. It's 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 fundamental to what you already are. It's 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 um it's baseline shit. It's not something out there that's causing the, the interruption. It's your own framing of, of your, not only reality, but your framing of reality is based on your framing of yourself. So it's essentially your framing of yourself. Once again, 
you know, religions and, and cultures used to give us those things, but now we're untethered from from the divine, and so it's a it's 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 a work of reestablishing that. But you have to look in the right place. Like I said, you can't be looking to, to make some super propositional statement. You know, this is the new spiritual statement. And then when, now when niggas say it, they get it. Like, no, it doesn't work like that. It's not a new thing that Western science is going to discover. You know, it's not. We found the, the, the super dupe 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 particle. And it's in the string theory of gravity's, you know, interconnected black hole. And this is the thing now. This explains it. Like, no, that's not going to be the thing. But it's it's what is you. If you if you want to sit here and say you I'm everything I'm the most high I'm all this shit what is you besides just saying it's everything because anything can say it's everything that's not doing something special the details it's about what you built yourself to be to the degree to which you you have become branded you are branded until you decide to be something else but even then the, simply deciding to be something else ain't all it is you gotta let go of branding and that ain't just simply throwing the baby out with the bathwater because then you know you're not gonna be able to live your physical life which you have to do which is part of the but well, you're on all three levels primordial spiritual and non and physical you're on all three levels at once you can't disregard one you can, you can remove your attention because your attention is deeply focused on the physical level and you have a physical fucking body. Deeply, like, look how deep one body is in the physical world. This is just one universe and a multiverse. What's stop. My focus is deep on the physical world. But wait, what is you? See, niggas will say I'm everything, but they don't really mean that shit. I just want to get have a good day at that job at Kroger. Fuck out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. niggas just talk to talk, man. I'm just a writer. Are you okay? Are you a writer, but you a dyer. Are you a dyer too? If not, then you might not be riding with me. Ride or die. Shit, man. You should, I'm here for the ride, bro. Y'all niggas gotta drop me off right here at the corner, bro. This is getting crazy, man. I can't even do it. Nah, man. Can't even be in the car, bro. Can't even be in the car. <laughs> this nigga is the genie. I am the genie. You gonna get what you asked for. I'm good with that. Sundays, let's hear it. Look, the new church. We gonna, we gonna make this new church. What's stop. Look, man. Suffer. Suffer. You can't get away from it. If you want pleasure, you're going to have to have pain. If you want there to be some higher divine thing, you can't deny the existence of the low, nasty, dirty shit. You can't just, I'm above this shit. You, you're clearly not. You're clearly not. You're in it. This is not about feeling good. It's about, it's about understanding the nature of your predicament. It's, the issue is what is you? What is yourself? And it's not because the, I'm not saying that because there's an answer out there. Like I was talking to my brother about this. Like that's that's school trauma. Like when I ask a question, you thinking that there has to be some right answer. That's the reply. It's not a right answer. It's an honest answer. Honestly, like what is you when you say you? If we just we just chilling and I just say, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? What is you like? What would the default you be immediately? It's, it's, it's just honesty. It's honesty. It's not, oh, I'm, I'm going to tell him the right question. He's going to be impressed with me. And as soon as he hear me say the right answer, this thing going to be like, oh, bro, you on the level. And I'm going to get the Aries badge. What's stop? What's stop? <laughs> I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> I'm going to get the Aries badge. I'm everything. Nah, you just part of the whole. Yeah, if you're thinking, if you're thinking it like that, cause look, the I am is is so it's there's so much shit in I am, and niggas just breeze over it. Like, okay, I'll give you the I. You want to say I'm everything? I'm everything. I'm everything. I'll give you the I, nigga. But as soon as you hit am, you you lying to me. As soon as as soon as you hit am, you're lying to me. You're not everything. You're not all just one thing. You got to stop at I. As soon as you go to am from I, you're lying to me, bro. You're not everything no more. You agreed to it. I don't care if it's illusionary. You're agreeing to it. How you gonna see here and say we're gonna play Monopoly and you wanna break the rules? Bruh, stop. Bruh, stop. Nah, I'm not just gonna tell you you win the game. The game just over. The game just over. You wanna play the game? We're gonna have to start over. Fuck you talking about? I wanna get halfway through Jumanji. I wanna discuss the rules. Nigga, you already done rolled the dice. What's stop. What have you been agreeing to already? 
Don't make you don't have to find some new agreement yet. Figure out what the fuck you've already been agreeing to. What have you been saying you is? It's not some spooky thing. The elite, the elite didn't come into your room. Nigga, this is what you is. You came up with that shit. That's all you. It's all me, baby. Be okay with the fact everything here is parasitic, including you. But if everything is parasitic, then what's the host? Man, it's not that it's... Look, this shit is perfect, bruh. It's perfect. This place is perfect. The only thing fucking it up is this you shit. And, and, and what you think it is. How you framing it. This place is perfect. Parasites have a purpose. They have a purpose. Niggas gonna get in where they fit in, and that's where they fit the fuck in, bro. We'll make a shirt with an Aries badge. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. <laughs> it would be your face handing out burn hero cookies. <laughs> Yo, niggas do need to get an Aries badge, man. I'm feeling myself for that. <laughs> it's funny. Oh shit. Burnt chips ahoy, so they double dry. Ugh. Ugh. Look, and look, I want a cup of spilled milk next to it. So look, just I don't even want to think about I want you to think about the fact that you could go get some more milk. Because if there was no milk, maybe you might think that. I want a cup of spilled milk next to them burnt hero cookies. So that you when you look at the cookies, you also look at the fact that you ain't got no milk. I don't want you to have no hope for milk. <laughs> <laughs> this shit better have fucked up frosted on it too. Hell yeah. Nasty sprinkles, nigga. <laughs> oh shit. Nah, man. I don't got no good hero cookies for niggas, bro. I don't have no good hero. I'm not gonna tell you you a god. I'm not gonna tell you you divine. Uh uh. I'm not gonna tell you it's all it's all good and you you all gonna get there and everything you saying is right. Nah, bro. Most of that shit is wrong. You don't know what you're talking about. But ignorance is the precursor to knowledge. Before you know some shit, you got to not know. Ignorance is the precursor to knowledge. Before you know some shit, you got to not know. And listen, you can't just come out here all dick and chest talking about I'm spiritual and I know this shit. And as soon as somebody say something, all that shit just cave in. And you go back to well, everybody's right. We all one thing. Nah, bro. Chill out, bro. You said you was right. You said you was out here. You said you was teaching something. If everybody right, what the fuck you teach? What the fuck you got to teach? If everybody's right, why would you have to teach anything ever? You, if everybody's right, why would you have to teach anything ever? Why would anyone ever need your spooky channel from Oshun? I got a, I got a channel from Thunderbird and Oshun and, and, and C. Freeman L. And they was at a tea party and they channeling me and I'm here to leave you my channel. Why would they need that? What good is it going to do? Everybody's already right. I hate niggas. I hate niggas. I hate I hate you because I can relate because I've been that. And I'm disgusted. I'm sure I'll project it at you, but it's mostly about me. But I'm not wrong. If everybody's right, niggas would shut up, but they don't really believe that. People say that so they don't have to they don't have to they don't have to um explain what they say. If you know, you know. Fuck out of here. What if you don't know? What if you don't know? Then you just think you know, right? If you know, you know. Get the fuck out of here. Well, well, what's understood ain't got to be explained. Well, what if you don't understand it? Then maybe you need to explain it. Well, if you just assume I understand it, you never need to explain it. Fuck out of here, man. I hate it. Fake it until you make it bullshit. You have untethered yourself from the divine. That is the that is the primal that is the, the, the primary issue is that your framing of reality untethers you from the, the uh, from the divine narrative. Y'all motherfuckers' narratives ain't even divine. It's aliens. Like that's so dumb. You could be anything. No, I want another meat bag from another rock in space. What stop? Y'all niggas is dumb. Mm. God, that hurts. That is so fucking stupid. That's your, that's your divinity. 
black aliens in white robes with light who coming back to activate your DNA. Dumb as fuck. That's not spiritual. Oh my God. And niggas is really out here decoding the shit from the elite. Like if the elite are trying to distract you and, and maintain your attention, how much of your attention they got if you decoding all their shit? What the fuck you going to decode from it? The answer to something? What well, stop? They put out a new movie. Make sure you go see this one. I'm going to decode the chakra colors. <sighs> hate you niggas. I can't, we can't even have Christmas without niggas putting chakras on a Christmas tree. What stop? And it's somebody, I'm going to decode the Christmas tree. Nigga, you just put colors on the tree. So you can't, if you can tell me about seven, tell me about seven. Not just that you got seven glands in a double, 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 duh. Shut the fuck up. Don't tell me about something I can, I can cut open and make atoms out of. Like I can divide into atoms. Don't tell me about that. What is seven? It's the number of, okay, cool. Now you've made a statement. Now we can go back and forth. And it's okay if we go back and forth. We got to come to something. Otherwise, niggas, you're just out here floating around. It's everything is everything, but I'm kind of right, so I'm going to teach. Let's stop. Ah! Don't nothing work like that. Niggas have the audacity to call the shit they doing a science. Don't nothing work like that. My Anunnaki ancestors have trapped my family in the Akashic records. <laughs> and now I have to save them with the help of Haru and Rajin. <laughs> right? Niggas will come up with shit that's more com convoluted than Christianity. They'll be like, oh, no, nah, this shit can't be real. I mean, look, obviously Christianity ain't real. But here, have this more convoluted piece of shit. Fuck out of here. Oh. The niggas, there's a whole civilization of people in the planet. Like, look, if if, if you're a nigga who's 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 who's, who's skeptical about the, the the shape of the planet, you need to be skeptical about atomic theory as well. The rest of physics, bro. Like the shit correlates with the rest of physics. Unless you coming up with some shit that correlates with the rest of physics, which none of the models do. Like, bro, it's, it you you have to question all of that shit too. Like, that's what I'm saying. When I tell niggas that flat earth is creationism, that's what I'm saying. When you take, when you strip away all the prison, all the implications of the claim you're making, you ha the only question is, well, how did this get here? If, you, if, if, if general relative, general special rel relativity and, and atomic theory don't, don't create not only the planet earth, but every, everything else that, that, that cause, uh, astronomers, there we go, cosmological astronomers claim exists. Like this, the, the theories correlate with the with the biology biological shit. So then you're gonna have to question biology as well. Are you questioning biology? Let me guess. Cells aren't spherical; they're flat. Look at all the pictures you see, right? Cells are really flat. They're not spheres; they're flat. Have you ever seen a picture of a spherical cell? No, that's somebody drew that. You know, that's NASA. NASA made up. Oh no, no, um, the CDC. There we go. The CDC made cells flat. I mean, cells round. They're really flat. Like, niggas are dumb as fuck. Niggas are dumb as fuck, and they don't realize they're dumb as fuck because they don't question anything. This feminine, this feminine, everybody needs to feel good. That's not what spirituality is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Your issue is that you have untethered yourself from the divine. It's a structural issue in how you frame reality. What is you? And look, if you want to say primordial chaos, titan being, fine. Say it. Cool. But what are the implications of what you've now said? Are you, to what degree does it generate a continuity of the self and reality at large? Because that's what you're missing. It's not coming in saying, you know, all, 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 all the violet star child children of, of the, the rainbow generation are here and we just got to wake up and heal people emotionally. Come together, soul family. Boy, stop. That shit's dumb. That shit's dumb. It's another physical world narrative. You have to think about what is you? What is thinking? Like when I'm, when I'm imagining an apple, where the fuck is it? 
Like you can't cut the brain open. There's nothing, there's nothing I would call myself in the physical world that you can cut open and find that apple. I can see the apple. I can do things to it. Where the fuck is it? What is it? How is that? Like, bro, you cannot just skip over that shit and say I'm astral traveling. You can't just skip over the fact that you don't comprehend how that shit works. Everything is mind. What does that mean? Bro, you could have said everything is chair. Everything is energy. Everything is love. Everything is light. Fuck what you call everything. What's what's the metaphysics? Everything is one thing. I don't care what the thing is you call it. You can call it a bucket. You can call it a plant. Everything is the great tree. Everything is the great mother's yoni. I don't care what you call it. What you're saying, the argument you're making, the implications of the statement you're making is that everything is one thing. See, man, philosophy, you're thinking about your thinking. You niggas are trying to find some new Western science way of interpreting. Heaven is really in the brain and it's the pineal touching the kundalini oil as it rises from the 33rd, 33rd vertebrae. Fuck out of here, dude. It's so like, even if that was a thing, it's not spiritual because the only way that could be spiritual is if you put a ceiling on what reality is and you, and you, and you enclose it as physical reality. Like, bruh, the motherfuckers will say some shit like there's shit beyond physical reality, but then when they get to describe it, it's just this infinite oneness that may, that may as well just be nothing. Like, no science does that. No, you niggas have the audacity to call this shit science. No science does that. I'm above debate, and I hate niggas. I hate niggas so much. I question photons being a wave slash particle duality, but I might be ignorant. I question photons being a wave particle duality. It, 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 it check the framing of, of how because this, look, this is how Western science and reductionism works. It it tries to find a fundamental particle, like the the issue of what the, what the fuck the difference between a wave and a particle is is more important than like like reconciling the duality is the issue. <clears throat> Because duality, look, duality is always going to make something more complicated. If I take something with singular, a photon, and now I've divided it into particles and waves, I've, I've made it more complicated. Let me take, let me take the other two one things I had and make them more complicated. Duality and reductionism, they're, they're, um, infinite re, infinite, uh, infinite regress. It's infinite regress. <clears throat> it's about the, look, look. Because you, because you're even, you're even talking to me about the Trinity here. You're reconciling the duality by adding the element of the photon. By adding the element of the photon to the relationship of wave and particle, you have a Trinity. <clears throat> so you reconcile the duality. But see, if you're, if you're looking at it <clears throat> as particulate matter, and 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 it's and, and like all everything in the physical world is is it's the same it's the same material. It's the same material. What you what you're experiencing is the um. I guess you could say ripples in it. it. Ripples can get very complicated. What you're experiencing is the ripples and the waves in the shit, and and those shit, those the ripples and the waves interacting, the symmetries of space time, the symmetries of space time. See, the most important geometrical shapes are always symmetrical. Why is why is symmetry so deeply tied to not only beauty but divinity? You know what? What is the idea? What does symmetry mean? Because like, what, okay, <clears throat> to have symmetry, right? You gotta have the blank canvas, zero. You gotta have you gotta have a point. Uh, a point is already symmetrical to itself because it has no dimension, right? Um, <clears throat> a line, it can be symmetric. It can be well, a line. A line segment. Maybe not, but a line in and of itself, because both sides are infinite, it's, it's already um, symmetrical to itself. But once you get to triangles, this is this is this is symmetry. Like before, it was just like it, it, it was it was um, evenness. Well, symmetry's symmetry's more than evenness. It's, there's a harmony in the evenness. It's like. It's almost fractal, I guess you could say. But that's what I'm saying. See, these these are the things that are underlying the 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 express forms of what we experience. That's the that's the within shit, bro. You talking about I'm everything? That's the shit you are. But you got to understand the patterns in the patterns. And really, really, bro, it's not even it's not even as complicated, bro. 
like to live this shit is not even like i i do metaphysics i'm a metaphysician that's why i know the complicated shit motherfuckers will claim they don't even they don't even look up what the fuck metaphysics is to most people like i said they're not interested in what i'm interested in what they're interested in is living this and that's a different conversation living this because you're already the thing it's, it's mostly a matter of getting out of your own way and finding a way two different two different things mind you you, you kind of have to do them at the same time in tandem um but yeah the, the discussion of metaphysics of what what is the meaning of life that's that's a conversation motherfuckers are engaging in and they have no they have no they don't have the feet to dance there the question you're really interested in what what is meaning in life not what is the meaning of life that's a metaphysical question you're not ready for metaphysics you like to think so you're not what you're looking for is what is meaning in life how do i live this how do i act this out how do i embody this to where i'm most effective or most efficient in whatever the reality is i'm experiencing as an agent in an arena as an agent in an atmosphere how how do i how do i match myself and the environment to myself to where it's most efficient most effective that's wisdom that's what it means to be wise when you know that based on the environment you're in that's a form of wisdom it's because it's more than just the knowledge of the facts about the environment or yourself it's the knowledge of how to fit the two together so that they work efficiently wisdom and see but this shit's not difficult it's not It's just a different direction of thinking. Niggas are going in the wrong direction. They say we'll go within. Niggas are going in the wrong direction. A wave is what something does not does not what something is. Yeah, yeah. Okay, look, look. You can have two 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 forms of what a photon is based on what it does. You know. So now you you still have three, but it, you know it, it it changes the idea of what a photon is. It shapes the idea of what a photon is. You know, because it, it's more about the, the the principles of what does it mean for something to be? What is? What is reality? It's 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 an issue of the ontology of the Western mind, uh, of of how how the Western mind is framing reality. You know, now you know we look at water and you think H two O, you think the particles. You know, millennia ago, you know, somebody looked at water, they thought maybe uh, Yemenya or Olokun. You know, or they they, they thought um who's, who's um there's so many different water deities, bro. And then like you wouldn't even think some of them are water deities because it's like like Kansu, like Kansu is a water deity because he's a moon deity, but he's more he's like primarily a moon deity. So would you really say he's a water deity? You could, anyways, anyways. But that's deities are forms of thought. See, thought isn't just a brain thing. You remember, you can't cut open the brain and find thought. You're not going to find memory. You're not going to find things like that because they're not part of the, 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 the body's an antenna. It's tuning into something like a radio. The thing the radio tunes into is not in the radio. What is in the radio is what makes it conducive to do the tuning. The thing it tunes into is not in the radio. Oh, your heaven is the pineal gland and you get up to the brain and the, the top part of the cerebrum and no. The thing you're looking for is not in the radio. And you think that's obvious, but no, because no, nobody scrutinizes what they're saying. And so everybody's right. And so whatever you say is it. And that's probably it's just, it's not science. It's, it's, it, it's pageantry. It's not science. Any nigga teaching who say he's above debating ain't teaching shit. Bro. Fuck that shit, bro. That's ridiculous. It's not science. But whatever you're teaching ain't science. If it's, if it's, if whatever you're teaching is above being debated about, it's not science in any form, any shape, form or fashion, period. It can't be. Mm. Do you think that the feel-good culture is more feminine or convoluted idea of femininity? Because if you want to be spiritual, you will feel you will feel like shit, but not without knowing that shit is basically character development. <clears throat> I think I think the feminine has been overemphasized because it's not that spirituality is either masculine or feminine it's the, the two masculine and feminine define each other they complement each other male and female contain each other they're an outgrowth of masculine and feminine um 
there's an overemphasis on the feminine right now, which is the issue. Because that, not, it's not even simply a, an emphasis on the feminine, but it's a it, it's a rejection of the masculine, you know. Because now the masculine has been characterized as as basically being white Jesus and white God in the clouds, and anything that's that that that's ma it must be masculine. It's like that's not that's not how these things work, you know. And so motherfuckers are like, oh, the yoni 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 great mother. Like, no, the great mother is feminine in name only. It's the triple blackness of space. It's triune. The mother aspect is only part of that trinity. It's mother in name. It's mother in name. <sighs> you know, niggas will say whatever, whatever they already heard somebody say out the side of their neck, like they saying it themselves. Whatever, man. Whatever. Yeah, most of the time we be having dirty ass reference points and we build frameworks off crack frames. Exactly. Trying to piece together a, a, a metaphysical framework from from fragmented and fractured um, old old rites and rituals from religions and shit like it. it it's not enough information there. <laughs> But I mean, niggas gonna try and do it because, you know, it may, that's, that's what they feel they're supposed to do. Duality is levels of resonance. Duality is levels of resonance. Well, the correspondence, yes, because without without the dual, the principle of duality, there there could be no such thing as those things. Exactly, it, it gives rise to that capacity in existence. Like when people look at the um the hermetic principles, they look at them like rules. Like nigga, shut up. Like it's <laughs> each of them are outgrowths of the previous um the previous established principle. Okay, because look, you're going from nothingness. Okay, nothing is nothingness. All right, how does nothing become anything at all? You can say it's always nothing, okay? But you just said something. Even the fact that you said something is something. So it, it, it's it's um, it's a it's a, what's the word for that? What's the word? For, a performative contradiction. It's a performative contradiction. It's like me saying I'm asleep. I'm clearly not asleep. I'm awake. And me even saying I'm asleep while I'm awake, you know, it, it's a performative contradiction. <clears throat> so you can't just say it, it, it's all nothing because you'd have to say that, and that's something. Um. So anyways, you're, you're going through the different hermetic principles, right? The first one, um, all, uh, the all is mine. All right. All things are one thing. All right. Um, if everything is one thing, remember we came from nothing at first, there's no principle at all. Zero nothingness. Then you have the first principle, which says all things are one thing. Okay. They, now you have one. Now you have one. But if you have one, there's no levels, there's no correspond. Nothing can correspond because what would it correspond to? What would correspond with anything else? Because it's only one thing. But now that you, once you get to two, once once you have two, now you can have correspondences. Now you can have levels. Now you can have relationships. That's why that's why the second that's why the second principle is correspondence because on the emergence of two. You you now have things like correspondence. Now vibration is three. Why? You have the you have the um think of the sine wave, okay? You have up, you have down, and you have center. There's three places that the, that the, the wave can be on. Um that's what vibration. You have to it has to be triune. So once the triune principle emerges, then you have the third principle or or, or the third um the third set of affordances. Affordances meaning things that you now have the capacity to express or manifest you see because you could not express correspondence at one it, it's not possible there's no there's there's no there's no there's no materia for it but once two emerges now you can have correspondence now you can have levels you can have resonance well, or at least you now have the, the, the building blocks for such because when you're talking about resonance we're getting into vibration again and then sometimes people will confuse duality with polarity where duality is two polarity is four it's like north south east and west um fire air earth and and, and water polarity is four <clears throat> think, think about the poles on the magnet um not only do you have north and south but you have the field created this generated by the relationship between north and south which means like the relationship between north and south is two that's a duality but the relationship in tandem with what it generates, all right, which is it's going to generate something dual again. Yet it's four. It's polar. Niggas don't know metaphysics, bro. Niggas don't know metaphysics. Niggas don't know metaphysics. They just know the word and it sounds good and the bitch is going to like it if they say it. Fuck that shit. God is dead. You've untethered yourself from the divine. 
but this is what I work with people on. Reestablishing your tether. What is you? And not just, oh, I heard you say that a bunch of times. Here's the correct answer. No. It's actually, what is it? Give me the honest answer, and now let's evaluate it. And evaluate it like you're going to kill. It's a life or death situation, my nigga. <clears throat> what is you? It's going to be whatever the fuck. Get the fuck out of here. You could be anything, you disrespectful bastard. Anyway, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Thank y'all for sitting around and listening to me talk shit.